here with 48 Lake. There's a truck going by. But otherwise, it's it's quiet. It's a large, large lot. Sits back off the road. It's a well here. And I did receive a message that they've received an offer and you'll need to have offers in by tomorrow evening. There's a sand mound out back. Moss, I mean, uh, yeah, on the side, just needs to be uh, pressure washed. Okay. So here's a here's the entryway. You come in, it's your dining room. There's a study right inside the door. It's probably a keystone home. The reason I say that is they're drywall wrapped windows versus being uh, wrapped with with wood. And here is a room. There's no closet, so I mean it could be used for you know for whatever is would make sense. Kind of the family living room. The gas fireplace. And then it's open up to the second floor. Here's your kitchen. And here's the deck. It's got a Trex deck on it. I just want to show you here what it looks like. There's your Bilco door. It's a buried LP gas tank, propane, over there. So your clean out, and then goes over here to your tank. And then it's uh, got a sand mound here. So it goes on the other, your property line would go on the other side of the sand mound, the big shed. Then there's also, uh, looks like an access driveway to a property behind yours. Okay, and they have an awning there. All right. The door right ahead is to, uh, I know, I think that's a pantry area. Yep, your pantry. Over here. Your laundry. Soon you have the half bath. This is going to be your garage. So this is a true two-car garage. So you won't be able to store anything on the side, but you can have storage up front. Okay. Let's head upstairs. Again, here's the dining room. We'd seen that from the other the entrance. Again, you can look down to the entryway. So here's a bedroom, the closet.
Looks like they replaced this main level, but probably the original carpet in the bedrooms. Second bedroom, again with the closet. Again, here's down in, looking into the family room. Here's the hall bathroom. Over to the fourth bedroom, smaller, and then again, decent closet. This one will actually have a linen closet here. This one will be served well by a fresh coat of paint, I think, a little bit of color maybe. So here's the owner suite. And then within this, there's this little nook for whatever, if you want to do an office or a sitting area. Nice size closet. All right, we'll look at the bathroom. Double sink, Whirlpool, it's kind of tight a little bit, but the Whirlpool is big as it is. Shower and toilet. All right, let's go check out the basement. This is unfinished. So there's space for that to be done. Poured concrete walls. So over here is your, uh, your water softener. Here's your bladder or the pressure tank. Here's your alert for, there's a problem with the septic system. 200 amp service. Here, I'm not sure what they had that plug, that's to plug in for. I guess you, yeah. Over here is the stair steps up to the Bilco door. There's no interior door, which I guess you could add that if you wanted to. Here's the, the furnace, your sump pump back here. And from the exterior AC unit, I'll, I'll take you out there. That looks older to me. And then electric hot water heater. Okay, I will, uh, I wanted to show you that so you, uh, you knew that that's, that's really older. So here's the, there, I want to see the AC. Okay, 
you can see the end here. Okay, this is 48 Park.